Things are crazy right now in Disney World, but things are also crazy expensive. We've got new and crazily expensive things in Disney World to tell you about today. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. Now, one constant that will likely always remain true of Disney World open or closed is that it's mega expensive. We already know if you plan a trip to Disney World, you're gonna be shelling out some serious cash to make it happen, but once you're in the parks, you can still find some items that hit you with major sticker shock. We thought we'd have a little fun today and take a look at nine new items in Disney that are shockingly expensive. First up, those crazy ears, the Heidi Klum ears and the blondes ears. The past year has been full of Disney's designer ears, and these ears all typically were designed by a company or artist tied to Disney, like Imagineer Kevin Rafferty's latest ears for the debut of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and several others. Now, these typically have slightly higher price point than your standard. They're $75, $50, definitely more than your off-the-rack ears you'd find in any gift shop. But a few of these designer ears were released with some crazy high price tags just for a pair of ears. The first break the bank ears we saw were designed by model Heidi Klum. These were your typical mini ears. Oh, except they were covered with a massive tiara and dangling earrings covered in Swarovski crystals. These ears were limited to 500 pairs and sold for, brace yourself, $600 a piece. No, you heard us right, 600. You could get a ticket to Disney World for a week at Christmas for the same price as one pair of ears with limited wearability. I mean, don't get me wrong, these make a sweet accessory when you're grocery shopping, but likely most people won't have much use for these, even to wear in the parks due to their weight. Pulling ourselves off the floor, after processing that massive price tag, we can tell you that Ms. Klum's ears weren't the only pricey ears to come out. Purse designer Coach released a leather pair of ears in November that cost $195, but believe it or not, these completely sold out in less than six hours. And a few months later, just this past February, Fashion House The Blondes, which I literally had to Google because I didn't even know who they were, released a heavy metal looking pair of ears that were absolutely covered in crystals, again for $600. You guessed it, they sold out fast. But to be fair, I think they only made like 30 pairs of those. I don't think they made a whole bunch like the Heidi Klum ears. So they sold out pretty quickly. With the trend of mega pricey ears seeming to not go away, we're waiting for the first pair to break the thousands. If $600 ears are selling out, sky's the limit for what the next ears could cost. Next up, the Cinderella's Signature Celebration Package. So last year, Disney came out with an all-new signature package available to guests who were looking to shell out some major cash for a special night in Magic Kingdom. The Signature Celebration Package at Cinderella's Royal Table is not for the penny pinchers, my friends. This night includes all the fanfare you expect of a dinner at Cinderella's Royal Table. Guests get a three-course meal, including a glass of champagne or a specialty beverage, as well as a chance to meet Cinderella and some of the other princesses. Other than the champagne, that's pretty much just a regular dinner. Now, following the dinner, guests get a small box of treats to take with them to the Plaza Garden private viewing area for the fireworks in front of the castle. Following the fireworks, guests get to enjoy the after fireworks dessert party over at Tomorrowland Terrace. The cost for all this fanciness, $225.44 after tax and gratuities for adults and $188.40 for kids three to nine. The full package has quite the steep price tag, so keep in mind, if you want just a portion of the offerings, all of the events that package includes, aside from the box of treats for the fireworks viewing, are able to be booked separately. So if you'd like to just enjoy dinner at Cinderella's or just enjoy the after fireworks dessert party, which comes with priority firework viewing, you can pick just the portion you'd like and lower that price tag considerably and still have a super great night in the Magic Kingdom. Next shockingly expensive thing that we've actually purchased in Disney World is the caviar at Enchanted Rose. Back in October, Enchanted Rose first opened its doors at the Grand Floridian Resort in Disney World, replacing the older Meisner's Lounge. This lounge is a welcome addition over there, though there are nods to Beauty and the Beast throughout the multi-room space that are subtle, not quite as in your face as you'd get at, say, Be Our Guest Restaurant. The whole bar is really beautifully decorated and the food and drinks are much more upscale than you'd expect to find in Disney World. Drinks are all handmade with fresh and often floral notes. 
Some drinks can even be prepared tableside for you. For food, we were pleased to see a more refined looking menu, including small plates like crab and gnocchetti gratin, an artisanal cheese plate, smoked short rib sliders, and $100 caviar. Yep, the Enchanted Rose serves up a $95 plate of white sturgeon caviar with all the traditional accompaniments. If you're looking to get extra fancy fancy while you sip some cocktails, this is probably for you. The caviar arrives as a full, just opened glass jar served on ice with egg timbale, creme fraiche, chives, and toasted bread. Is the price pretty crazy for a small bowl of fish eggs? Sure, but if caviar is your jam and you're looking to be extra fancy with your snacking, this may be worth the steep price tag. Or you could just stick to the truffle fries for $14 like we usually do. Lots and lots of truffle fry. <laughs> But fear not, we did buy the caviar for our review of Enchanted Rose, and we did eat it, and again, if caviar is your jam, you're probably going to like this. Next up, those Columbia jackets. I know, who would have thought that a jacket would be on our list of crazily expensive things in Disney World, but when Frozen 2 came out back in November, we saw oodles of pricey Frozen merch pop up around Disney World. One of the most unique? The Columbia store in Disney Springs. Yep, there's a heavy winter coat store in the middle of Disney World in Florida. Sold Frozen 2 inspired coats for $500 a piece. Now that price isn't all that unusual for a quality down coat, but in Florida where Sub-Zero temps are rarely an issue. We doubt they sold as many as they'd hope. In fact, we know a couple of people who got them big time on sale after a while. Inspired by Anna's costume in Frozen 2, the Anna cape was a baggy maroon coat with holes for your arms to go through. We tried to imagine it looking cute on, but it just looked like an expensive puffy sack on us. The Elsa coat was more traditional styled coat, you know, one with arms, and it shared the same $500 price tag. It looks like the Anna coat poncho is no longer available, but if you want to score the Elsa coat, you're in luck. As the weather warms up, you can find this one on the Columbia website, discounted all the way down to $124. Speaking of Frozen 2, if the Frozen 2 coats weren't pricey enough for you and you still need a Frozen fix, brace yourself for the price of this next item. When Frozen 2 was released, Ever After Jewelry Company and Disney Springs started to carry a Frozen-inspired line by Roberto Coyne. The jewelry is gorgeous, and one that caught our eye in particular was an amethyst, tourmaline, and diamond white gold necklace that matched the one worn by Elsa in the beginning of the film. The price tag? Oh, just $4,400. If you want the matching earrings, that'll be an additional $5,500. Granted, the jewelry is made of 18 karat gold and gemstones, so it's not cheaply made costume jewelry, but that's a pretty serious price tag. 10 grand for a set of jewelry? Considering many families might not have spent that much on their entire trip to Disney World, this is definitely something you're going to want to set some money aside for if it's your next fashion statement. We know you love all things Baby Yoda, right? But just how much do you love them? There's no shortage of the child merch from tumblers and spirit jerseys to phone cases and your very own child to carry around. Instead, maybe you want a simple silver necklace of this character. Well, my friends, that's going to set you back $135. That's right. The sterling silver necklace comes with a 24 inch silver curb chain and a small Baby Yoda pendant. And it's from Rock Love Jewelry. It's currently in pre-order. In fact, the first wave of pre-orders sold out, and now the second wave is expected to ship at the end of April. Next Star Wars pricey event we want to share with you is that Rancor flight. When Galaxy's Edge opened this past August in Disney World, we braced ourselves for some major hits to our wallet. We knew building a lightsaber over at Savi's wouldn't come cheap, 200 bucks plus tax, and building a droid was going to set us back $100 for a piece of plastic. But there were a few items we did not expect to have so many dollar signs attached to them. First up is over in Oga's Cantina. We love this location for the pumped up energy inside and the unique and sometimes weird drinks they serve, but one of the more tame drink options, beer, came with a pretty costly souvenir. You can pick up a Rancor Tooth beer flight for 85 bucks. For that price, you'll get a small sample of each of the four beers on tap at Oga's, served in hollow Rancor Tooth ceramic cups, served on a large ceramic tray with holes for the teeth in it. The souvenir is cool and quite large, so if you're a massive Star Wars fan, this could be worth the cost for you. But keep in mind that if you'd like to sample the four beers without the hefty price tag, this is the one 
one drink we haven't been able to order sans souvenir cups. Other drinks and souvenir glasses like those sold in the Porg and Endor mugs also on Oga's menu or any of the drinks and mugs over at a spot like Trader Sam's at the Poly, we can usually order without the souvenir cup, knocking the price down to just the cost of the beverage. Alternatively, guests can typically order just the souvenir mug without the drink inside, though the cost will remain the same as if it were purchased with the drink inside. Just be sure to ask a server if you'd like to try and purchase just a cup without the drink to ensure you'll be able to. But the Rancor Tooth Board is the only drink we've been unsuccessful at ordering without purchasing, which is a shame considering all four beers on tap are unique to Galaxy's Edge, and having an opportunity to sample a flight of all the beers without shelling out almost a hundred bucks would be nice. So if you thought an $85 souvenir was steep, hold on to something for these next few. Galaxy's Edge's gift shops offer up lots more reasonably priced souvenirs, but also sell some heavy duty replicas from the films for a seriously high price. Over at First Order Cargo and Resistance Supply, the go-to spot for bad guy or good guy apparel, you can pick up a variety of replica helmets from the films. Want to pretend you're Poe Dameron cruising around fighting for the resistance? They've got his replica helmet for $665. Or maybe you want to channel your inner bad guy. You can score a Kylo Ren helmet for $750. Or a Stormtrooper helmet for a much more affordable $400. But if you're really looking to drop some cash in Galaxy's Edge, consider going all in on a full Stormtrooper costume. At First Order Cargo, for $6,615, you can be the proud owner of an 18-piece First Order Stormtrooper costume. This is one item we'd highly suggest you take advantage of having sent back to your resort or even shipped home when you check out. I'm guessing hauling around a full suit of Stormtrooper armor is pretty unwieldy on a hot Florida summer's day. I don't think you're allowed to wear it in Galaxy's Edge. If you do decide to live your best Stormtrooper life, remember you can't don the costume in the parks and sorry guys, all sales are final. No returns or exchanges, so make sure it fits before you leave the store. Finally, here's something if we had that kind of cash we would totally buy. It's our buddy R2-D2. If close to seven grand for a Stormtrooper costume isn't rich enough for your blood, then head to the Droid Depot, where for the low, low price of $25,000, you can be the proud owner of your very own full-sized R-Unit Astromech Droid. This isn't an off-the-shelf R2-D2, though you could make yours into R2 if you choose to. Now, this is a customized droid designed just for you. Think of it like the droids most folks build at Droid Depot for $100, but like way more intense than that. If you choose to spend as much as many folks' cars on this collect, ask a cast member at Droid Depot to assist you. They can help you pick the colors and styling of your R-Unit droid. Decide if he or she will be fresh-faced and shiny or all grungy and beat up looking. For the steep price tag, you'll get a full-size droid with an aluminum head that lights up, rotates, and makes sounds, a wireless remote control, and a charger. This is about as close to a real droid as you'll get right now. This is a film quality interactive prop. If you choose to buy one, remember that like the Stormtrooper armor, sales are final, no returning the sky. Once you place your custom order, it can take up to 90 days for your bundle of joy to be created and delivered to your home. Sorry, can't walk out of Galaxy's Edge with your new best robot friend. Think nobody could ever possibly be buying these? Think again. In Disneyland, three were sold the first week Galaxy's Edge was open alone. That's some Star Wars fans with pretty deep pockets. So we hope that helped you laugh a little bit, bring a little positivity and interest into your life while you're in quarantine. Thank you guys for listening and thanks for watching. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.